Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Bat Friends Beyond podcast, episode number 116. I'm one of your hosts, Chris, alongside the world champion, Joe. Hi, Joe. I thought you were going to forget what we were calling this one, and I was going to laugh at you. That's all you got for your intro. <laughs> That's it. I don't fucking care. All right, everybody. I'm happy. We're about to watch Batman Beyond, <laughs> episode number one, Rebirth. And this is why Jeff Johns has a career. <laughs> Because he went, oh, hey, they did Rebirth. Let me just do Rebirth for all these characters that died in the 80s or the 90s. Part one. <laughs> Sto- I'm going to say up top, that's the worst part about this. This should have been one episode, not two. Yeah. So, stories by Alan Burnett. Written by Alan Burnett and Paul Dini. And directed by Kurt Ghetto. Da-da-da-da-da. So upon watching this the first time, yeah, huh. this one has a extended intro. The theme song, I forgot how fucking edgy it is. Oh, it's pure cyberpunk too. It's pure nineties. <laughs> I started laughing. I'm like, okay, yeah. My my exact note was intro equals mainline cyberpunk. <laughs> Just like words, gritty, dancing, gritty. <laughs> Like, I'm like, this is hilarious. <laughs> Ed, because for anyone who hasn't been paying attention or listening, I, this, I've this i never watched the show before. Like, for watching it for this is my first exposure to Batman Beyond at all. Oh, no, it's Batman Beyond. <laughs> so when I saw this, I'm like, oh, so they, they established that it's a Bruce costume. That's cool. That's a good choice. I get that. Like, I just always naturally it makes, assumed it was a suit for that he adapted for Terry. And the reasoning makes sense. I don't know if they get into it further in the comics or in the show, but it's literally just a, he's getting old and yeah. the suit will do everything for him. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's also the Kingdom Come-esque of, like, yeah. I'm older, I need an exosuit to, like, do shit. Wham, wham, wham! Ooh! Grunt. Thud. Like, just... <laughs> I love closed captioning. My heart. I need my bacon pills. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other Weird note. Man. That's the other note I made. It's every kid's favorite topic. Corporate espionage. <laughs> when they talk about powers trying to take over the company. This I thought was interesting. Doing the whole crowbar thing. Mm-hmm. But it's Batman getting the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> I was just having a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's also that, and we've talked about it before with comics and everything, where it's, you know, it's never going to be the Joker that gets him. It's never going to be Two Faced. It's going to be some thug that just mm-hmm. catches him on the wrong day. Then this, I was like, oh shit, he's got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of those things where, like, it's probably better that they don't explicitly deal with it. But it would be nice to see somewhere that the introspection of him being like, the day that I was so weak I had to pick up a gun is the day I became unworthy of being Batman. Yeah, which is kind of what they imply. Yeah, it's implied. Yeah. But, like, when I was just watching it, I'm like, okay. I was also, like, you know, half watch, Not half watching, but just food was coming, so I was hungry. Uh <laughs> Because I did. I had a little bit of a rankling when he talks to Terry, and he's like, I was Batman. And I'm like, he would never say I was Batman. And then I went, wait a minute, he was holding a gun. Yes, that was when he would be like, I, I, I stopped being Batman the day I had to, I felt I had to pick up a gun. Never again. <laughs> Which, you know. <laughs> Cyberpunk! No, no, we're watching this intro. <laughs> this is happening now. It's, and it's the also, music, like... A fucking my hand opens and like the, oh my god everything yeah greed corruption power and just the fact that the the skyline and it's all written in Japanese lettering yeah. it's such a nineties thing <laughs> and it's just the fucking riffs the guitar riffs yeah. I'm like I understand why kid like you watching this in WB was like this is amazing 
<laughs> it's like, yeah. You th- like this, yes. <laughs> the, the loose animation, like, yeah. Honor. Like, yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. This is so adult. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is so important. <laughs> and this is also where um, the two podcasts collide. Because Will Friedel voices Terry McGinnis. Mm-hmm. Which is Eric. Corey's older brother. Oh. That was the other thing I had a little bit of reaction. I'm like, bullshit, he wasn't being, he was stopped being Batman for 20 years. Fuck off. It's <laughs> the future now. Elevators on the outside. There's clocking. I thought this was a cute little thing with the, the anchors being the. Not really a hologram, but a hologram. Yeah. That's, now here's Tom with the weather. Terry's all edgy and gritty with his cool jacket. In comes a Joker. Fucking Jokers. This is super cyberpunk, but also decent enough. Now here's Tom with the weather. Like I like the idea of just a thug being like. You smiled. You owe me money because I bought. I, I, I sold. It's a. It is a grift. I sold you a joke. I didn't buy shit. I just always enjoyed the idea that there was a gang that like worships Joker in the future. Yeah. Nope. Not not gonna involve me. And once again, it's gonna be interesting going through this all the way because I'm wondering how much of my knowledge is actually the show and yeah. how much is comedy. Right. 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 <laughs> And we already... Okay, so this is where I point out they made sure to bridge the gap by having it be a Bruce costume that mm-hmm. Terry wears. The show already has more color than the last season of that other fucking garbage. Mm-hmm. Like... Hamilton Hill High School. I didn't notice that yes. the first time. Fucking Mayor Hill. The Flying Hills. What? Because <laughs> there's wings on that. There's the yeah. Flying Hills. This makes me laugh, too, because they're, they're wrestling, right? Yep. And then he just clocks them. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> You've never wrestled with him. <laughs> That's code for sex, everybody. It is. Just like that right there. <laughs> I assure you, if you're ever in that position... There's nothing sexy about it. <laughs> All you're doing is just, Jesus Christ, it's hot. I gotta get this motherfucker off me. <laughs> get your clothes and get out. Now that does have to do with sex. <laughs> is that man bad. right there? Yeah. Voiced by Seth Green. Really? Yeah. Huh. I know this because recently I rewatched all of the Austin Powers movies and then I watched this yeah, and I was like, I this sounds voice. like Seth Green. I want to watch it uh, because I got him on here. It's on my list on here. I'm like, I want to watch rewatch the Austin Powers one. I haven't, watched, I haven't watched International Man of Mystery in years. Yeah, three of them are on Netflix. I had to search for the other one. And it's not like the first three Wait, are on Netflix. Wait, what's the fourth one? It's, International Man of Mystery, yeah. Spy Who Shagged Me, Gold Member. There's only three. Then two of them are on Netflix. Okay. <laughs> That's Bebe's kid. <laughs> that's right. They keep talking about making a fourth one. That's yes. why I think there's a fourth one. And that's why I'm I'm still sad that we might get a fourth Austin Powers and did get a fourth Shrek before we ever got a third Wayne's World. You know Bebe's Kids, don't you? No. We should watch Bebe's Kids. Um, I don't know if I want another Wayne's World. At this point, no. But I'm saying there was a time where oh, another Wayne's World would have been fun. If it would have happened back then, yeah. yes. Yeah. If but it, I don't want another Austin Powers. He's too old for it. Hmm. Because it's, it's not like... like That character would not age gracefully... So there's a lot about that movie that the, all those movies that are very 90s and come off very 90s. Did I send you the cut scene that foreign markets have of the first Austin Powers? No. 
I'll have to look it up because it was one of those things that popped up on Reddit and then like it became that thing where people from other nationality like Americans have never seen this and like it literally was just the movie that was released mm-hmm. so you remember there's in the first one there's the thug from Mad TV that gets crushed by the steamroller yeah there's a scene where his wife gets the call that his her husband's been killed at work and their son's like, why would they hurt daddy? And then it goes back to Austin invading the base. <laughs> and it's so fucked up. And amazing. And that was, the joke was that, you know, all these thugs and minions that you never think about, yeah. like, they have families. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be a big success, just like you. I learned it by watching you, dad. <laughs> What is a grandfather clock in the future? I mean... The McGinnises, but... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the Waynes, too. Baby's kids. Yeah, so this is a lot of, like, <clears throat> eh, my dad, I don't like him. So we can have the Uncle Ben moment. <laughs> exactly. To which watching this also... Because there always must be a Batman in Gotham. Yes. This prick. I'm glad the Joker's fuck up his car. <laughs> it also like made me think of why people attach. Look at all the color. Yeah. Look at all the color. That's a better Joker design. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like, and that's my point is that even even in this one, okay, so ba- you know, Batman Beyond has the red bat, but he's still a walking shadow. Mm -hmm. But that works because the villains are so colorful. So you have contrast. That's what I said. I feel like the designs in terms of like the actual... Yeah, yeah. From this show are come from that one. Like they base it more on that show than they do the animated series. But it works better in this world. But it's also color. Yeah, because color. Color's the big difference. Like those designs could have worked... If they didn't decide to paint everything with black and gray. No. The one guy in a Harlequin outfit makes me laugh. I'm just like, okay. I guess. So I was trying to think of why this works so well. And I think for a lot of different people. And it brought me back to a conversation I was having about Miles. And I think just the teenage aspect, like, Everybody loves Teen Spider Man. Mm-hmm. And we don't want it. Well, it's also what we talked about as far as doing something different. Like, yes, they're obviously you're connected to Bruce, and there's a lot of commonalities, and they obviously do a lot of callbacks of you know. Yeah. Spoiler alert: His dad dies. Um, but Terry's not Bruce. Mm-hmm. Terry's his own man, having his own experiences. Yeah. Same thing with Miles. We want teen Spider-Man. That doesn't mean we want Peter to be a teenager again. Well, it I, just means that because there's so much... And it, what it ties into is that, that time of your life is so uncertain and there's so much change going on because you're becoming an adult and you're making choices, da 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 that it is just rife with story potential that carries with it importance. Well, and who was the last Spider-Man character that broke out that Marvel just threw away before Miles? It was Spider-Girl. Right. Because it's a teen Spider-Man. <laughs> right. I do love that Bruce is just like out on the grounds for no reason. <laughs> Leave him alone. Don't you know I used to be Batman? You're trespassing. Well, and this is the other thing, and this is where it's we, t- we talk about earned moments. This is happening because you have to establish that Terry's a, Terry has heroic traits. It's not just a guy gets powers and becomes a hero. Mm-hmm. And to a certain extent, that's why Superman always fails so much because Superman is born with powers. Yeah. It is the Kill Bill speech of Superman's not afraid of anything, so he can't be a hero. Heroes have to be afraid. There has to be skin in the game for a hero. <laughs> just hit her in the ass. <laughs> well, she's got the 
The that spiked rubber, yeah, it's yeah, great the too. spiked rubber chicken. The spiked rubber chicken is fantastic. I'm Batman. It's. I feel like you could have done both of these episodes in one episode. Yeah, you could. I feel you could have, but I still do enjoy both these episodes. He's having a heart attack. And he's just baking pills. <laughs> well, what they're trying to do is they're trying to create time. Because you don't want to just have Terry in the costume. Yeah. Because you want him to earn it. I love that Ace gets introduced. I don't yeah, care. I love that too. Nice dog. Not really. He's kind of an asshole. <laughs> um, I had a kid once. He made me get it. <laughs> but so you, that's why they want it because then basically the second episode is basically him in the costume. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, generally speaking, you, this, the story there's only one episode. There's only one episode's worth. I'll applaud them for not doing a trilogy. Yeah. Just passes out. Just <laughs> took, his, took his oxys and just passed out. That Ace is just like, no. Which, like you, like, you watched him walk in. Why would you keep him inside? <laughs> He's got to protect Bruce. That don't make sense. <laughs> Ace is smarter than that. It's always a fucking bat. He's got a bat in his belfry. Hmm. 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 Enhance. Hmm. Enhance. <laughs> <Hence. laughs> Let's go down into the basement. Oh god, there's a giant penny. <laughs> it's not the first thing the lights go on. <laughs> Dude's a collector. I wonder if he knows Batman. <laughs> I think I'll be Nightwing. I was gonna say it is really weird that he has like like it's okay, him having Robin's costume makes sense. Him having that's hilarious. Get out! <laughs> Motherfucker, you were asleep. And uh so him having Robin's costume is fine. Him having Batgirls is a little weird. Him having night wings is odd. Well, Batgirls he took back after they slept together. That's obvious. Um, I would thank you not to ever mention that again. <laughs> They're still it, friends. It doesn't stop it being comes uncomfortable. Up later. It doesn't stop being <laughs> uncomfortable. Wait, do I have great power and great responsibility now? Yeah, well, you got great responsibility. I don't know about power. <laughs> Is he dead? Is he dead? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Well, he walks in. And, oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> it's like, Terry having a little brother. I'm like, okay, but why? It's fun later on when not. I don't think it happens in the show. I think it's a comic thing. But okay. he becomes Robin. Oh, okay. It's fun later on. That might have been. The, yeah. Maybe that was the seed they were playing. Yeah. But like, oh, I guess you have to have the mom if you're gonna have the little brother. Because like I say, like he has like at first when his dad's like, "You're not living with your mother." I'm like, okay. And so that's weird. But then, so that means the little brother was living with the mom, and Terry was living with his dad. The fuck happened? <laughs> well, you see, his dad loved Terry, not the little brother. <laughs> Pretty obvious. I should have been there. I could have helped him. I could have done something. I could have been a contender. <laughs> see, this is straight out of Spider Man 1. Yeah, but he does, in fairness, he doesn't have his powers yet. Yeah, I know, but it's just. In that tie, there's no knot, and it bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the future. They don't need knots. They don't need knots and ties. Sometimes science and technology go too far. I do love his perfectly little brother thing. Guess that's my fault too. Yeah, it is. Get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> Want to know my deep dark secret? It's a GameCube game. No, Sega Saturn. GameCube hadn't come out yet. <laughs> 
This is still N64 time, baby. These look like schematics to the coronavirus. Oh no! Beep blop, bloop blop. Boring. Hmm. Hmm. You know what you should have done? You should have made a copy of that. Also, how do they have a camera in his house? <laughs> that dude right there is like jerking two it. steps away from Cosby. He's jerking it all the time. He has a thing for redheads. Listen, Terry has good taste because he's got an Asian girlfriend, but... Yes. Get out of here with your hover car. All right, fine. I don't know why I'm leaving you at a haunted mansion, but... Remember, too, it's Neo-Gotham. This was made in the 90s. So the thought process back in the 90s is that Japan was going to take over. Yeah. Yeah, because Firefly did the same thing. So that's why everybody is kind of... A little bit Asian in the show. Well, I mean, look at China. They're not wrong. Yeah. Right continent, wrong country. <laughs> You're no Batman. How dare you say I'm not Batman. You come say that to my face. With my dick in your mouth. I'm fucking Ace. I'm not Scooby. Telling me I'm not bad, man. <laughs> like, that's really what it is, too. It's like, fucker telling me I'm not bad. Oh, I forgot that's how the first episode ends. Yeah. Oh, oh it's main fantastic. title, Darwin Cook. I Where? didn't notice that. Hold on. Oh, we're rewinding, everybody. Let's see. Alright, probably went way too far. Yep, went way too far. Tell me I'm not Batman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch. Because I think it's the first, it's either first or second, because I just happen to notice the right. producers, associate producer, series writer, series director, main title design, Darwin Cook. Nice. Love you some Darwin Cook. R.I.P. Darwin. And Bill Finger. I'm just going to shout that every time it comes up. Oh, uh, speaking of fingers, where can people find you on the internet, Joe? Hello, ladies. Uh, JoePank.com, J-O-E-P-A-N-C.com. Uh, if you're a big comic fan, you should go to ClicksNexus.com. It's your, it's the number one hero clicks site on the webs, because I said so. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Cthulhu Holmes or Joe Pank. Both will get you there. You can follow me on Instagram at Joe Pank with a C, 3-6. I was going to say more, but there's not more. It's just Joe Pank 3-6. Uh, and as always, if you want to encourage my behavior and make me feel valued as a human being that is making a difference in this world, you can go to patreon.com slash clicksnexus. Give me as little as $2 a month. You give me more, I'll send you stickers. You can get entered into giveaways. Um, you give me enough money, you can advertise on the site. And otherwise, I don't run ads on the site, so you would be the only game in town. Finger bang, 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 bang. Because I did that, I'm just not going to do anything and say, have a good week, everybody. Bang, bang! <laughs>